uh, sexual violence is one of the common things we keep hearing day in, day out in our yes. country. Yes. And it is more disturbing when it has to do with minors. True. You see school children, teachers abusing children, fathers abusing children. It's mostly minors 15 below. And then they will keep telling them, if you talk, this is what will happen. Creating a kind of psychological issues in them that they just feel, if I speak, I go in for it. And now they have come up, of course, to uh, ring this as a bell again, that this is becoming disturbing in our society. But what, which is a better way to actually stop sexual violence? If fathers are now solely into this, how can we fight this? Well, it is a very sad um, occurrence that has been going on uh, for a long time now. And um, I hate to break this to you, Immaculate, uh, that it may be impossible to stop this totally. But, you know, the good news is that certain steps can be taken to, you know, try and reduce it to the barest minimum possible. One of the steps that you can take is to ensure that all these offenders, mm. when caught, are really dealt with in the sense that they go through the whole process of the persecution, the public, even up to public shaming them, you know, and then instilling in these children the ability to speak, speak up. If someone touches you here, speak up. You know, this, this brings about to... We had done we had had an argument or we had had a discussion at what point in time what how old should a girl child be before you begin to sexually sensitize her how does she know you know it's not just enough to say uh, if someone touches your pp here tell me if someone does this tell me sometimes they also know how to know the implication because some of this arises because they don't even know that they have been abused and then as they go on in life you know uh, they get they get and then they begin to de either dislike it you know and then someone catches you know that abuse and then reports it sometimes it's late sometimes you discover that the child is injured that's where you know how about really really talking to the girl child sensitizing them about their body their sexuality getting them to speak up and not be afraid that they'll be harmed you know and then i'm always worried about something you know every time we talked about um, um talking to girls child opening organization that can uh, sensitize them and all of those but what happened to the male because most of these people if you ask them will say it's the handwork of the devil they will yeah. say i don't know what i was doing i didn't know it was going to result to this mm -hmm. is it that there can't be an organization where they talk to male child as they're growing up to sensitize them speak some senses into them so that when they see a girl child even though they're naive they can just let them go. Why are we always focusing on attention yeah, on only women? Child. Okay, well, you have made a good point, you know. We should also talk to boys. Um, I think in recent times, we have had counselors coming up, even in the various religious, um, religious places, talking about, talking to the boy child about, um, you know, getting a hand of their emotions, you know, not allowing their emotions get the better of them in terms of expressing themselves sexually uh, for boys it usually starts earlier you know and that's why we're focusing on the girl child because for boys they begin to feel their sexuality early enough than the girl child that is why we are supposed to even focus on the boys first yes, before going but to girls. then again you do understand that even if you're being sensitized and you choose to ignore it it is also different if the other person is plainly ignorant but again the and man doesn't has to know and doesn't know that what you're doing to her is bad you know mm. so and, and i think too it may go both ways it's just that the abuse for women is more prominent but even some young boys get abused too we've heard of very grim cases of boys who tend to because they're not sensitized enough tend to play with animals you know and then get so infected that they're almost at the stage of dying. We've had cases like that, you know. And then when you talk to these um, children, you find out that they're not sensitized enough, just like you've pointed out. But this case is about the female child, you know. And that's where we're trying to hamper more. Because the girls do not get their sexuality that early. So you have to keep telling them, uh, and, and especially their ability to speak up. And it's worse when the abuser is, is within that is that, that's where, what i want to ask 
Because my worry now is, yes, we are supposed to talk to them. We are yes. supposed to say, okay, parents, you stand in, start early, talk to your children on time, the yes. girl child in particular. But in a situation that they are the perpetrators of this, is is right inside. Is the father? Let's put it that way. Okay. Is the father of the girl? Okay. What do we do? How do we? Is, is it, are we going to meet the society? Because I would have asked a question like, do you think this issue is actually coming from society? Like family parents will groom a child and then the moment they step out they turn something else but in a situation that the issue is from home well, where do we well, now go we to? also have dysfunctional parents so the fact that their parents do not make them perfect or do not make them angels so to say mm. you know they're actually demons who have children you know and then they pass their rage or their sickness you know and then inflict it on these children and that's why it's the duty of not just the parents from school as well and the teachers you know? are involved in this yes too. and the teachers you know so you're teaching from the school you're teaching from home you're teaching from the religious angle <laughs> i mean 